Spagsorb. It's a lightweight, biodegradable, industrial oil absorbent. More economical, more efficient, and easier to use than conventional absorbents on the market today. Spagsorb is a product of nature itself. Canadian sphagnum peat moss existing in selected bogs in Canada. The peat is harvested, packaged, and shipped by EarthCare Products operating out of Alberta, Canada. After dehydration, the now activated sphagnum peat is bagged, ready for shipment to distributors. Peat itself is partially fossilized plant matter, mostly hemicellulose, cellulose, and lignin which is formed in poorly oxygenated wetlands where the rate of accumulation of plant matter is greater than that of decomposition. Once activated, the sphagnum peat is actually out of its natural organic order, literally searching for hydrocarbons to absorb. The key expression here is absorption, not adsorption, as in the case of conventional products. Once packed, Spagsorb is ready to go to work with no threat to humans, wildlife, or the environment. Sphagnum peat is porous and has natural occurring capillaries giving Spagsorb a powerful wicking action that absorbs hydrocarbons quickly on contact. Not only is peat capable of absorbing contaminants, but is less costly and its absorption capacity is greater than that of other common absorbents. Hydrocarbons, including PCBs and other liquids and chemicals, are encapsulated. The product does the work on its own. No high-tech application equipment or technicians are needed for cleanups. A broom, a squeegee, a vacuum does the job, and being non-abrasive, it's compatible with conventional cleanup machinery. Just as easy as extraction. After cleanup, manual or mechanical, methods of removal are easy. How or where extraction takes place, Spagsorb never leaves behind any messy residues, reducing application and extraction expenses significantly. To determine exactly how Spagsorb works, several demanding laboratory and field tests were performed. In this lab test, two water-filled pans are topped with oil. Dipping a feather duster in the untreated pan, the feathers emerge saturated with oil. Loose spagsorb is placed into one of the pans. Repeating the procedure with a spagsorb treated pan, the feathers remain free of any oil, indicating the immediate and thorough absorbency of the product. This would protect wildlife at a spill site. The test vessel is filled with 10 gallons of gasoline. Explosive vapor meter reading indicates a reading of 100% above the upper exposable limit. Spagsorb is then applied three cubic feet from a DOT approved container. A second reading reveals a 10% combustible vapor below the lower exposable limit. Applying a quality emulsifier, 6% over the spagsorb suppresses all combustible vapor. It's easily extinguished with a sprayer or a common garden hose and inductor. Spraying a 6% emulsifier solution, Spagsorb is then an effective vapor suppressor. In this lab procedure, the non-leaching characteristic of Spagsorb is tested with other absorbents. One quart of oil is placed into separate pans, one treated with clay, the other with loose Spagsorb. Allowing for sufficient absorption time, pans are then tilted. The results are plain and visible. Oil leaches into the edges of the clay-treated pan. The Spagsorb pan is dry. Spagsorb's natural capillary action is proof of its non-leaching performance. Next, Spagsorb pads were tested in the same manner. Oil poured into the two pans. Spagsorb applied to one, polypropylene pads to the other. Time is allowed for absorption by both products. This time, the remaining oil is added to each pan, one quart to each. Soon, Spagsorb's superiority is clear and evident. Obvious leaching occurs when conventional polypropylene pads are used. All the oil is totally absorbed where the Spagsorb pads are applied. The clean, dry Spagsorb pan is another example of Spagsorb's instant wicking action preventing all leaching. Spagsorb demonstrates the same superiority over polypropylene pads when tested with emulsified oil. As can be seen here, following the same testing procedure, Spagsorb is 100% effective in the cleanup of emulsified oil. Obviously, conventional pads are ineffective. 
Here, more oil is poured into a pan of water. Loose spag sorb is then applied to the simulated oil spill. Immediately apparent is the quick wicking action of spag sorb as it instantly encapsulates the oil directly from the water. Upon extraction, clear water is left behind with no oil residue. A lab test comparing the efficiency of spag sorb to clay in the cleanup of an oil-based paint spill is just another example of spag sorb's versatility. Yellow paint is poured on a lab table, loose spag sorb placed around the perimeter as a containment. Next, the paint spill is covered with one pound of spag sorb. When the spag sorb is removed, so is all the paint. The identical procedure is followed, this time using one pound of clay. When extraction is attempted, the clay leaves behind a messy surface with no effective removal of the paint. Both areas were left overnight. Attempting removal the next day reveals an interesting situation. The area treated with spag sorb was still clear, and the peat was still loose and manageable. The clay treated area, on the other hand, was hard as a rock, and the sticky mess of paint and clay remained on the table. In this simulated beach impact test on an absorbent spag sorb sock, the sock is stretched lengthwise across the lake area. Oil is poured into the water on the left side directly opposite the sandy beach location. As the oil begins to spread, loose spag sorb is applied to the beach area, protecting it from spill damage. Next, oil is poured on the right side of the sock, this time without beach protection from spag sorb. Feather dusters are dipped into both sides of the test area. Feathers dipped in the spag sorb area emerge clean. Those from the other side are saturated with oil. The beach on the treated side still exhibits clean white sand, but not so on the untreated side. Now both sides are treated with spag sorb the left side with loose peat and the right side with absorbent pads. In both situations, spag sorb does the job, eliminating the oil from the water. Extraction of both applications is quick and easy. Loose peat with a simple net, pads with a shovel. Final result, clear water on both sides. Protected beach on the left where spag sorb was applied, oil contamination where it was not. This spag sorb sock test is just another demonstration of the product spill containment capabilities and immediate wicking activity. After placing the sock in the middle of the test lake, oil is poured directly into the sock containment areas. At this point, to solidify the spill, loose spag sorb is administered inside the sock area until there is no longer evidence of free oil. Wicking activity is very noticeable. Extraction is simple. The loose peat is removed by conventional vacuum and the sock is simply pulled out of the water. All oil deposits have been totally encapsulated. The test results show that as soon as spag sorb is applied to the spill, any threat of indiscriminate spreading to wildlife is eliminated. This simulated hazardous material spill demonstrates the feasibility of spag sorb as a product to be considered for use in your first response plan. Oil is seeping from a tanker truck on the roadway. The hazardous materials response team arrives on the scene. Retrieving a bag of spag sorb from the emergency unit, a response team member immediately applies loose spag sorb to the oil spill. He then rakes up the contaminated spag sorb, removing all traces of oil. The hydrocarbons now absorbed in the spag sorb are deposited into a DOT approved drum. The officer now rubs his hands over the area. No evidence of oil remains, either on the ground or his hands. A supply of spag sorb available in all hazardous materials response vehicles is a must for your emergency contingency plan. Here's how Spagnum Pete came to rescue an actual oil spill. Along a shoreline, oil was leaching beyond an already placed boom. With just a handful of men, a boat, and a few bags of sphagnum peat, the entire area was covered. Sphagnum peat can be seen aided by the wind reaching all areas of the spill. Easy application of the sphagnum peat around boom connection joints effectively eliminated leaking. Leaving a healthier environment, extraction was simple and fast. Spagsorb usage in a shop area spill is definitely an advantage over the usage of conventional clay products. In this situation, there are two shop area spills. The benefit of spagsorb will be obvious. There's approximately one quart of oil in each spill. In one area, one pound of spagsorb is applied. One pound of clay is applied to the other spill. With simple sweeping, the spagsorb encapsulates and removes all oil deposits. When the same procedure is attempted with the clay treated areas, not only is there a large deposit of oil remaining, but the equipment used for the extraction becomes contaminated as well. How effective is spag sorb? Observe the application of the already activated spag sorb from the first spill applied to the clay in the second spill. 
Both oil and clay are completely gone, leaving a clean, dry floor. There is even some unused spag sorb left over from the process. A 10 barrel spill is effectively handled with sphagnum peat after conventional cleanup methods were attempted, pad application and pumping. Yet even after five pumping, sizable pockets of oil kept reappearing. We were called in to tackle the cleanup. Our first action was a standard procedure, the application of sphagnum peat within an initial containment perimeter of the marsh area. After that, loose sphagnum peat was spread through the entire spill area. Heavy rains had no adverse effect on the sphagnum wicking action. As the water level rose and fell with the tides and rains, the sphagnum peat rose and fell with the water levels, encapsulating all the hydrocarbons as it traveled up and down. All the oil was eliminated from the area, with no leaching occurring. The benefit from this situation, production was able to resume at the site. This is an aerial view of a 75 barrel spill in an environmentally sensitive area. The Spagsorb crew was called in because Spagsorb is known for its benefits and its ability to clean up with no environmental damage. Here the crew is seen distributing the loose peat on the ground and tossing it on the vegetation of the sensitive area. Government strictly forbids the uprooting of any grass or vegetation. Only Spagsorb was able to affect the cleanup under such restrictions. The broken pipeline that caused this spill was unable to be repaired as long as the combustible vapors persisted. Spagsorb once again saved the day, suppressing the vapors, allowing the line to be repaired and the well to come back on the job. The benefits of Spagsorb in this case are obvious. The environmentally sensitive area was cleaned up, a broken pipeline was able to be repaired and production operations were able to resume. The environment was on its way to a healthier existence. The view of the area 60 days after the cleanup procedures is visible proof of a new vegetation springing up. The huge benefits of sphagnum peat application are shown in this 1,000 barrel spill operation. A containment dike using loose sphagnum peat was formed around the spill site, immediately preventing leaching to the non-contaminated areas. 400 barrels of crude oil were then removed by conventional pumping procedures. 600 barrels of paraffin with 15% oil remained. It took four days to pump out 600 barrels of paraffin in 30 degree weather. The sphagnum peat containment dike was still preventing any leaching even after the fifth day. The remaining hydrocarbons were unable to be pumped out. To begin the drying out process, 50 bags of peat were then applied to the spill site. The next morning, the peat had completely dried out the area. We decided to spread two or three more inches of sphagnum peat over the top of the site simply as a top dressing. For the next month, daily monitoring of the spill was maintained. The benefits from this experience are numerous. No leaching has ever taken place. Heavy equipment can now cross this once marshy land. New plant growth is evident. No adverse effects on wildlife, fish or game has been exhibited. In short, the greatest benefit of sphagnum peat is the environment, actually renewing life in this once contaminated area. How beneficial is sphagnum peat? The powerful wicking action replaces many conventional man hours of labor. The lightweight feature of the product makes it possible to reach spill sites quickly as a first response action. To remove all hydrocarbons more effectively, Spagsorb is the answer. Spagsorb, the leading edge in spill cleanup. It's non-toxic, meets landfill acceptance, is safely incinerated, and Spagsorb requires less product than clay, which contains toxic silica or polypropylene pads or other conventional products that also contain toxic chemicals. Spagsorb, it's non-abrasive, non-leaching, organic, biodegradable, possessing unlimited shelf life. Spagsorb is lightweight, easy to handle, providing lower transportation costs. Spagsorb, produced by Earth Care Products, Alberta, Canada.